Hello and welcome to the show. Melania Trump suffered severe humiliation after her invitations to school children to join her on a tour of the New York Stock Exchange were rejected by their parents. It comes after news the first lady and wife of President Donald Trump would tour the New York Stock Exchange next week and ring the famous opening bell. Melania's spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham told CNN, Mrs. Trump will be taking part in an iconic New York City tradition and encouraging children to be best through her initiative. Ms. Grisham added Melania will be accompanied by several children from the UN International School, UNIS. Parents at the school were not so keen to have their children associated with the First Lady. School administrators are seeking a diplomatic solution to a standoff over the controversial invitation. There is only room for 10 students to go on the tour with Melania, but it was enough to rile up parents who were concerned their children would be used as political props. Predrag Vasek, a UN public information officer, said in a letter to a UN Sec Under Secretary General he was disappointed by the decision to accept this invitation. He added, I no longer have children in the junior school, but the concern that I share with many other parents is that those children aren't only representing themselves and their parents, they are representing our school and all of us as the UNIS community. Parents expressed concerns their children's appearance with the First Lady would signal an endorsement of the Trump administration. Mr. Vasek added, their appearance together with the First Lady confers by extension on this US administration the endorsement of our school and our community. In his letter, Mr. Vasek pointed out the school organized grief counseling and special activities with students to cope with the shock after Trump's election win. He said, the sentiment is extremely strong. Mr. Vasek argued the school should never have accepted the invitation. Melania's Be Best campaign marked its one year anniversary in May. It is hoped at help, it is aimed at helping children's overall well-being online safety and the exposure to the opioid epidemic. Melania received backlash earlier this month after her, over her Be Best campaign after sending a tweet wishing students in the US a great start to their new academic year. The First Lady will be in New York with Trump for the United Nations General Assembly. The First Lady's stock exchange appearance on Monday coincides with the first day of the UN Climate Summit where 63 countries are expected to speak. She will tour the NYSE and ring the bell, which happens Monday through to Friday at 9.30 a.m. EDT. The ringing of bells to mark the start and end of the stock trading day at the New York Stock Exchange has been a tradition since the late 1800s. In more recent decades, notable people, heads of corporations and celebrities have honoured special occasions by being the actual ringer of the bell, which is automated and done by pressing a button. First Lady Laura Bush rang the New York Stock Exchange closing bell in 2006 and then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton did so in 2009. The UNIS was established in 1947 by a group of UN parents to provide international education for their children. Its website claims the school provides an inclusive and diverse learning environment in which rigor rigorous international programs. Thank you.